like we're here. Gosh, yeah, okay, we found it. I'll see Great you. place. Okay, Bye. see you later. To my house. Thank you so much. What a <laughs> unique location. I love it. It's my home away from home. Oh, nice. Awesome. You want to follow me? Sure. Absolutely. I have absolutely no idea who this client is today, but I can assume that based on where we're at, she probably has something to do with sports. This is definitely a first. Yes, I'm a little violent, but that's all good. <laughs> you want to sit down? Sure, sure. My name is Natty, and I'm a WWE diva, and I'm also part of a show called Total Divas. Oh, well, thank you again for having me. I'm so glad to be here. And before we start, I always like to just kind of explain my process. Um, have you ever had anything done like this before? Never. Cool. Okay, great. There's been well, a lot of tragedies kind of in my, my family. Um, I have two in particular. Um, <sighs> makes me choked up talking about them. But there's a huge part of me that wants to find out if they're still with us. The general way that I do what I do is that I work as a clairvoyant, and that just means clear sight. So I've basically, since I've been a child, I've had the ability to basically look at people and see things about them. And they come through in little brief impressions that, that I kind of have to take, interpret, and deliver in a way that is going to make sense to you. In the event that anything doesn't click, I'll totally let you know, and, and we'll see if we can figure out where we're going. Oh, cool. So, okay. So we've got that, that, and that. I have an individual coming through who's referencing to the fa fact that they feel as though they actually passed too soon. Um, do you have any objects with you by chance? I have two photos. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is, I don't want you to give me any additional information. Um, is it possible that I could hold on to the photo of that particular person at all? Like, is it there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hand it to me upside down so that I can't see. <sighs> Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, wow, okay. Yeah, we're gonna talk. There's, there's a lot here. Okay, this is gonna get kind of personal. There's a child that's coming through. Um, hmm. There's a reference to saving a hat. Yep. Does that make sense to you? There's a reference to the name Matt that's coming through. Matt or Matthew. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Do you know who this would be for you? Matt is the name of the person that passed away. Oh, okay. Was there anything regarding his passing that was uh, on your end or on family's end unresolved? Matt, that was my cousin. Yeah, and he was 13 when he died and I was 14. Wow. Um, you know, it was like actually something that made us take a different life direction and we moved our lives to be closer to our family in, in Canada. He was like the first death in our family. It was the first time I really experienced like what it was like to lose someone. Mm -hmm. When Matt was wrestling in the ring, he just bumped a certain part of his body and everybody has staff in them, but his staff just out of a freak thing became active. It just caused a crazy effect in his body and they just couldn't save him. This could happen to any of us. His dream was to be a wrestler like myself and my husband. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but he, um, you know, he didn't get to fulfill that dream. So we felt such a strong obligation, you know, obviously to fulfill our own dreams, but to also, you know, honor Matt and be like, okay, you didn't get to do this, so we're going to, you know, we're going to honor our dreams by, you know, dedicating them to you. I knew Matt was a part of my success because I felt like after he passed away, he was always looking out for me. And he um, loved wrestling. And by me being able to live my dreams, you know, I feel like Matt's a part of that. And he really inspired me in a lot of ways. That's really what I believe they love more than anything. When we take their passing, and though grief is normal and natural and important, they really love when we really move forward in our own lives and live our lives to the fullest extent and follow our dreams and pursue our dreams, because they do follow us with that. And they live yeah. kind of vicariously through us. So as you branch out in your career and do all these amazing things, he's with you. Yeah. We all deal with loss in some capacity, and our first instance of understanding what it's like to go through the grieving process is always one of the hardest. And that's why he made it a point to come through, even after all of these years. He was still around. There's a lot coming through that I have to distinguish. You've got that, that, and that, okay. I really want to connect to this energy more, um, just because there's a lot there that I... This energy that's coming through, for whatever reason, is just acknowledging that 
there's the reference to the chest, and I don't know why I'm going to the chest so much, but I just, this feels quick. I'm going too fast. Um, I basically, for whatever reason, the back of my head is hurting, and then I'm getting the front of my chest. So why would my chest be hurting with this person? Because that's how, that's the initial impact for the person. Okay. The strange thing about this particular person's passing um, is that they're referencing to the fact that when they passed away, the timing of it, I feel like there's a celebratory kind of a tone to it. And that's kind of the weird thing. There shouldn't be a celebratory tone to passing. But what's being acknowledged is that when I die, there's a reference to a time frame of like, what should be a positive time, what should be a fun time, isn't. And that's the way that it comes across. Celebratory almost, like excited. Like, it just feels like this should be a really good thing. And yeah. then I feel like a tragedy strikes in this. Yeah. Um, but my, it was my uncle Owen. Um, his name was uh, Owen Hart. Wow. And he was also a wrestler in WWE. And um, he was in an accident in the ring. And so it happened in front of about over, well, over 10,000 people. So when you talk about being a celebration in a party, it was at a big wrestling event. Wow. So there's a lot of excitement and hoopla around it. Because we were all watching it at home. And it was an accident, but, um, you know, it was just tough for the family to go through because there was that tension of, like, all the family was fighting because people didn't know whether they should stay in wrestling or would it be dishonoring Owen or, you know, and, and but our families loved wrestling for 50, 60 years. You know, it was a, it's like the family business. For sure. So, you know, hopefully Owen would, would be happy that oh, we're happy. Absolutely. And he so deeply was passionate about it as well. And so yeah. for him, I mean, that's something that he would want everyone else to continue. Yeah, exactly. Because he got a lot of enjoyment from it. Regardless of what happened with his passing, that's something that gave him fulfillment. Yeah, And he exactly. knows it give, gives others fulfillment, so absolutely. That's kind of what I feel. Is I do a lot of things in my matches to you know, honor him and stuff like that. Oh, so. That's amazing. I have no doubt that they all see that and are aware of that and are so incredibly proud of you for just doing this career and Thanks. doing what you love and sticking with your passion. Um, you know, it's funny, you touched on a lot of things that were specific that I was surprised about. I, I mean, it, so a lot of stuff really shocked me. How did you know Matt? Like, how did the... It just came through. <laughs> it just popped in, yeah. That's such a, like... Yeah. That's crazy. It shocked me. It shocked me that he knew Matt. I've never spoken about Matt like, before. So the fact that Tyler said that once you cross over to the other side, that you are okay. And even though we can't selfishly have you here with us, you're still part of our energy. That meant everything, because I think that's all that any of us want to have, is just peace of mind. Well, thank you so much. Oh I had my such gosh, a good Tyler, time. it was so nice oh, to meet so you. so great meeting you. You had a great energy about you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yes. you're such, I feel such a, you feel like such a warm, oh, loving, good. kindred spirit. That's the goal, absolutely. I mean, Tyler gave me a lot of life lessons today, and if he ever needs to do a sharpshooter where he puts somebody in a really strong submission move, I'd be happy to show him the ropes. Just give me a call, Tyler. <laughs> Let me get a picture with you. Awesome. I'm a selfie princess. Oh, cool. I really hope Natalie leaves this reading feeling like she made a real connection to her loved ones and got the validation that they're yeah. proud of her oh for gosh, continuing the legacy and encouraging her and her family in moving forward.